Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like a clock. I'm Perloism, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. I had myself a wee bit of a nap because I, I had to go. Uh, I had to go rush off to the Perlocopter. There, we had some uh, technical issues. Well, mechanical issues, and uh, so I had to bring uh, Samson over there to the mechanic. I had to to uh, drive him over to where the perlocopter was and uh, he had to fix it. And that was a lot, I was like feeling pretty taxed. So I had myself a nap. Yeah, gotta have lots of naps a day, right? Tons of naps a day, that'll keep the doctor away. Naps, naps, naps. Okay, NHL picks. We're gonna give you quick picks here coming up right away. Uh, people uh, so all of you out there that uh were writing me today saying where's my pearls of wisdom necklace that i subscribed to you well we had hernandez had a problem with the perlocopter so all right all right it's coming and if you want remember to subscribe y'all if you're new hit the sub button right now all right oh ho Look at you, Davis. Davis, is it? Look at you, y'all. You don't even look. Just, just try it. Just, boom. Make you feel good. Just try it. It's it, it gives you. It makes you all, all uh, fluffy on your insides. I don't even know what that means, but it's sort of like that, right? Okay. Quick picks. I said first five minutes. We're going to do quick picks. We got lots to do today, boys and girls. So get your protractors out and your compass and pen. Sharpen up the old pencils. Get your favorite color crayon, whatever, so you can get all this down. All right? Okay. Rangers in regulation over six. Bruins puck line over five and a half. Avalanche, money line, over five and a half. Blue Jackets, in regulation, under five and a half. Hurricanes, ML, under five and a half. Oilers, ML, under six and a half. Islanders, ML, under five and a half. Blackhawks, ML, under six. Stars, ML, over five and a half jets ml under five and a half and sharks ml over five and a half i may change that sharks one i will tell you this uh there's a couple in here i'm a little unsure about so watch if you've got time which you should because you should be making time by now right should be organizing our time for the purpose of your wealth and, and prosperity, organize your time for these videos, right? Right, exactly. Um, but there you go, off with you. If you all got to go off to your wares and what you do, maybe you got to watch Best Bet Ed's video. He's fantastic too. Uh, maybe you got to go to uh, um, Professor MJ. He's got some killer stuff. Go check him out. Uh, the ice guys are really good. And uh, if you like other sports, I suggest also um, Professor MJ. Also, I do a show five days a week, three to five on here, this channel for the Steel Flyers All Sports Network. You can check that out. Uh, we do picks, but we, also, we talk about everything hockey. We talk about the trade that happened today, stall trade, we did that. It was great. You can watch it right now and see what it's like. It's fun. Go to my videos and my lives and check them out. Okay, so we got lots to get to today, so I better get to it, right? Right, because we got lots of games on the slate for Saturday. Saturday, the finest day in the land. Yes, it is. Okay, let's go. Uh, first of all, we got to talk about our picks for today. Let's talk about that. Uh, Capitals versus Devils. We had Capitals. And I was worried about the Capitals. I didn't go in reg here. I just went with the ML for two pearls. We nailed it, though. Only got a unit out of it because only paid one five 
four or something like that. But uh, we also got the under for a unit as well. So not bad. Pretty darn good, I would say. Uh, two units right there, right out of the gate. We had the Ducks. We did. Ducks ML. Um, if you have, if you, I said, oh, here, I'll show you what I said. Posts new. This is what you get if you go over to the fine uh, Patreon I have. This is the kind of, uh, sorry, posts not new, published. Uh, this is the kind of uh, information that you get if you go over there. We had ducks. I said plus one and a half view. So you don't think I'm p p crapping on you here. I had two pearls, which is me two, two and a half, whatever's your medium. It could be more for you. Pucks two and a half over blues pays 170, 169. Pays three if you want to gamble a tad. And I would, and I said down here, uh, certainly very beatable. Both are banged up, but I actually think the Ducks are handling the struggles better, and like them to have a good chance to win this game. I think I I really like the Ducks to win, but I said I am very I'm on the conservative side. I wouldn't argue with taking the full juice on the Ducks here, you see. So, my patrons, if they they're feeling it, you took the full juice. If not, we still got 170 for two pearls. And if you notice here, for half a pearl, small pearls is under one. We got the under as well. I don't know why I wasn't more bullish on the under, but it doesn't matter. We hit everything. That is good stuff right there. But that's that's what we do. I give you that for every game. I don't just give you like all oh, the ones that I like. Every single game, every day, I give you this. If you go over to the Patreon. And it's one month for free. Uh, if you go over there right now and say I came from YouTube. Okay, Coyotes over Sharks. Drop the ball big on this. <laughs> we had the under. And it was going under. It was beautiful. 2-1 going into the third. And then everybody just crapped the bed. Uh, but that's all right. We only had small pearls on it. Less than a unit and a unit. So we're still way up on the day. And this is the one where we crush it. Jets. Large. It was my pick of the day was the Jets ML. But I suggested to go in reg. So we're going to go that we went in reg. Because I would go in reg. If you like to gamble a bit, go in reg. In reg, pay 260 for large. So figure it out. That's three, four and a half pearls right there. But guess what? It's not done yet, boys and girls. No. Because we had a unit on the under. And the under paid, what, 180 something. So there's... 0.8 more so crazy i didn't do a parlay today and i should have because i oh yeah i would have rocked it because i would have took ducks pl washington ml and jets ml i would have crushed it but oh well we didn't do it didn't do it so can't talk about it no use even talking about it because i didn't do it i will be doing a parlay tomorrow you won't hear about it unless you're a patreon member but i will be doing a parlay tomorrow of which I'm 11 for 11. I've hit 50% of my parlays. Out of 22 parlays, I hit 11. All of them averaging around about just under four per. So you figure that out. You're up a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, let's go to our picks, shall we, for tomorrow. We're starting with um, Sunday. I highly recommend you go check this out. Uh, it's uh, oddsharks.com. It gives you all the odds at all the places. And I recommend you get these bookies and get your best odds for these. Rangers versus Philadelphia. I cannot go take Philadelphia. I just can't. They're almost as bad as the Sabres right now. Elliott's going to be in net. Shesterkin is probably going to be in net for the Rangers. Maybe they'll be nice and... Uh, put Gorgiev in net, but that just makes the over more likely, and I'm going with the over if that happens. With Philadelphia's defense right now, I can't do anything else but over. I'm surprised this is only six. The Rangers have spanked them almost every single game they played them. And I think the one game Philadelphia did win 
was still over. So got to go over. Got to go Rangers. Uh, what's the money line on that? Uh, we, I haven't been PL on it. It's an afternoon game, so I don't like going over on afternoon games, but Philly's defense is that bad that I'm actually going to do it. Um, probably, again, afternoon games, there's usually less scoring. Uh, there's more. This is in, oh, in regulation. Take Rangers in regulation. Why not? Uh, Buffalo versus Boston. Look at it, 128. You can 409. If Allmark could come back for Buffalo here. I may just take it for the four for the four to one odds. But with uh Tatkarski in there, what is what's Buffalo gonna do with that top line? Seriously. Like I don't think Boston's gonna crush it, crush it. Um PL is the only thing you can do to make any money. Yeah, especially if uh, Halak is in that. Wow, you know what? This is actually a lot harder than it looks. But I'm going to go over five and a half Bruins PL. Yeah. Vegas versus Colorado. Uh, Colorado, I've said it before. I don't care. I'm taking them every, pretty much every game. Uh there's a little bit of a revenge factor because Colorado spanked Vegas last time they played. Um, should be Flurry. Are they ever going to go to Laner? I don't know. And it should be Grubauer again. I'm taking Colorado. Um, I think I'm going to be safe and go just stick with the money line, though. Uh, just because of the revenge factor with Vegas. Uh, that's it. Um, I'll probably go two units, Colorado. And kick myself that I didn't go in reg. Um, I, I'm going to go over. There's just there's too much offense in this. And I know there's great goaltenders here. But these are two teams that are going to play over a lot. Regardless of who's in that. Uh, Columbus versus Detroit. I'm taking the Jackets in reg. And under five and a half. The Jackets almost. Jackets are like three and eleven on the road under. They play, when they're on the road, they play a strong on-road, in-road. And I know it hasn't been the best for them this year, but I see they're starting to come around. I'm not betting a lot on the under here, though, because Grice is going to be in net for Detroit, probably, because Bernier is still hurt, and he just hasn't played well. Um, it's Mer I, this could change if Corpus Allo's in. I probably will go the over. But if it's Merz Lickens, I don't think Detroit's going to score enough to push this over. So I said that I think after the Carolina series, uh, that Columbus is going to come back and make a push. And I think it starts here in Detroit. Tampa versus Carolina. Um, Tampa Bay is having weir a weird time, aren't they? Um, I'm taking Carolina ML. Because that 202 at home, Carolina is not that. Not could be a better team than Tampa right now, actually, and uh, would be if Teravainen and uh, Trocheck were in. That's my only real issue um, with taking them here, and also I it will be tempered as well. I want to see Nadelkovic in net. If Reimer's in net, I may switch it up. However, Tampa is it without Chernak and McDonough on that D line, and I don't like that D line all that much. With those two guys out. So I'm probably going to stick with Carolina. Reimer makes it sketchy. I certainly wouldn't bet a lot on it. Toronto versus Edmonton. Edmonton has not did anything for days here. I'm going to take that as an advantage in a lot of ways. Where they got a lot of practice time. But I'm afraid of the rust. And Toronto had rust and they almost lost to Ottawa. Uh, they just won in overtime. Uh, I'm not. I'm not betting a lot on this, but 244 seriously for Edmonton against Toronto here. Put a half a pearl on Toronto, I say. Uh, oh, Sutter's getting interviewed right now. So, anyways, might as well put a small pearl on Edmonton for that. That's great value. 
for the odds for the odds Edmonton should have a decent chance to win that game at least 40 percent for you're getting two and a half odds for that I put half a pearl on it uh, probably going the under here however I saw that Anderson might be in if Anderson's going to be in I'm a little sketchy on the total too so I probably won't bet much on this game either side or total uh, or, yeah um Islanders versus Pittsburgh. I've been going back and forth on this. Kapanen and Melkin are out for Pittsburgh. The only thing I really do like about this game more than anything is probably under five and a half. Besides, this, for the side, I think you just take the, take the juice, which is Pittsburgh. I don't like it. I'm going to take the Islanders. <laughs> it's just after I take the juice. Um, Pittsburgh with those two missing is, is not, but under is this play. Um, yeah, probably go the Islanders. We'll see. I'll, I'll meditate on it tonight. And then tomorrow the Patreon members will know and you'll go over there and get the Patreon. So you'll know. Okay. But for now I'll say Islanders, Nashville, Chicago, um, this is a tough game, actually, and uh, the totals sort of give it to you, too. I got to take Chicago at home with Lankin in the net. Um, they just have so many high percentage shooters that they can be outplayed and still win. And that's what they're doing a lot, actually. I'm going to take Chicago, but I'm not. I wouldn't bet the farm on it. And what did I take? I take the oh, it's under six. Yeah. I just don't think Nashville's got enough to score enough on Lankanen to push this over six. I think I like the, the total more than the side. Dallas versus Florida. I'm taking the Stars ML because Barkoff is out. And Dallas is really, I mean, Dallas has been out playing a lot of teams. They've been getting bad bounces. I'm assuming that they're going to keep on going with the kid Ottinger too. Especially if Florida puts in Bob Roski here, I like Dallas. Dallas ML, and uh, I think I went the over here, didn't I? Yeah, I went over five and a half, especially if Bobrovsky is in. San Jose versus Arizona. Um, I really thought San Jose was going to have a better showing this last game. Now we're going on the back-to-back. -back. I don't know who Arizona is going to put in net. That's the problem. They have Hill. I don't even know who their fourth stringer is. To tell you the honest truth, let's go over. I should have checked that. We can let's check it really quick if we can. I was gonna check that before I started this and I forgot. Oopsie, Arizona. This is cap friendly. Cap friendly. It's the best. Ivan Prosper, Prosvetev. No idea about the dude. Twenty-two year old kid. They throw him in there. I may go San Jose. Uh, if they go back to back with Hill, I might go Arizona because San Jose was so pathetic today. And I thought they were getting better, but Dubnik is going to be in and he's been very inconsistent. So I'll probably go with Arizona and I'll probably go the over. I guess I don't like going overs on back to backs, but that could be some two very bad goaltenders. So. And probably lean the over, just not for much. And Calgary, Winnipeg. After what I saw today, Brassois will be a net. I got to lean Winnipeg, but I'm not as confident as I was for the game to, that was tonight, which was the 26th today? 26th. 26th. Uh, not as confident as I am tomorrow. But I still got to go with Winnipeg because uh, Riddick is just it's too inconsistent and Bressois has been playing very, very well. Um, You've got to figure Calgary's going to give it everything they got, though. It's going to be tough. I think it's going to be a tight game. I think it's going to be a tight game, and I'm going to lean the under as well. Uh, it's at five and a half, though. But yeah, under as well. Okay, boys and girls, I usually don't, by the way, uh, not usually. Lately, I've been doing a lot of Friday, Saturday games for Saturdays. But as the spring and summer comes, I'm not going to be doing that anywhere near as much. 
uh, uh, because I'm going to be uh, doing a lot of other summer frolic, you know. So I highly recommend you get over there to Patreon so you can get your picks seven days a week. And uh, doesn't cost you much. It's free for the first month. If you don't like it, get out. Doesn't cost you anything. You can leave anytime you want. And we got lower tiers too. If you like to five dollar one and a twenty dollar one, check it out. I'll leave the link in the uh, description, and you can go over there and do that sort of thing. Go watch Off the Wall John do amazing stuff. If you don't have his channel, go get it. He is an awesome play-by-play -play guy. I'm sure he's going to be doing play-by-play -play tomorrow night. Oh, jeez. 